channel oh my god i look so crazy i have crazy allergies right now oh my god i don't even know if i should be doing this video right now i look all types of crazy right now hold up a sec. yeah guys i look i look so crazy my allergies are like kicking my ass right now but um jeffrey is getting his gastric sleeve done soon so yeah so he's getting his endoscopy done right now i'm like super nervous i'm waiting for him out here to pick him up there's a lot of people around here looking at me talking to my phone <laughs> but yeah so jeffrey's getting his endoscopy done um i'm gonna have him talk a little bit more about the surgery process but we're so excited What's going on? I just got a endosco endoscopy. I'm supposed to get bariatric surgery next month. And uh, I woke up high and I had like a bad trip as I woke up. One of my really, really good friends who's in the military, um, he got shot about a year and a half ago. And I didn't find out until months later. I get mad at him for that. And so I had like a trip of relapsed time. And uh, so I asked the doctors for my boy and they're just looking like, what the hell? And I called my wife. She's like, what, again? No, but I was just tripping. So I'm good, I'm up. I want some chopped cheese and then head back home. Some chopped cheese. You can't be in New York without chopped cheese. Remember, chopped cheese. Here, waiting for Jeffrey. The lady just called me. I don't know what to put this, whatever. I'm waiting for Jeffrey. He's finally out of his endoscopy. Oh my God, my eye looks horrible. <laughs> I got really pissed off because uh, we're in Manhattan. New York City has like no parking. So, you know, they tell me at 3.50, he's gonna be downstairs, you know, call when you're downstairs and you know, we'll be on our way. I call 3.50, lose my parking spot. And I call at 3.50, and I'm like, oh, I'm downstairs. And this lady's like, oh, it's 20 more minutes. I'm sorry. Like, giving me an attitude. Like, I just got so annoyed. So I had to look for parking again. He's finally out. I could see him walking. <laughs> My little honey bun. Watch out. I'm not in the car. Let's see what he's going to say. What's up, mother? What's up, mother flower? I'm recording. How are you feeling? I feel like I just drank a whole bottle of wine. No way, you're dizzy? No. Not as much, not anymore. Yo, it's fing cold in here. Sorry. You good? You found parking? Yeah. <sighs> How was that st power nap? So they put some, like, <laughs> injection at first. Um, and it made my, like, like, it made me drowsy, mm -hmm. but not enough to f me up, like, to, like, knock me out. So they did another dose? Like, it made me laugh. <laughs> they put something in it first. They said it was supposed to, like, make my tongue tingle, and I didn't feel <laughs> And it was like, oh, she said something, oh, because she's Filipino, so I was like. Yeah, she was Filipino. So I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm going to have a double chicken. And uh, she's like, yo, just just think about a double chicken. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I found it kind of funny, but I didn't laugh, though. Mm -hmm. Then the other doctor was telling me, and he had a, line, a line yard about, like, the uh, Atlanta Falcons. And I said, I will never be a fan of Atlanta Falcons after the disgrace they did in that Super Bowl, winning 32-0 to zero and then lost against the Patriots. And he just looked at me, he goes, now you're going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he injected the thing. The uh, anesthesia. It was my doctor, the one that's gonna be doing the surgery. Yeah. And then it was the anest anesthesiologist. Yeah. And then it was the nurse. That's hilarious. Yeah. Jeffrey calls me. 
so hilarious. Yeah. He calls me, like, asking about his friend from yeah, the military. I had a really bad and I'm trip. just like, what the hell? He's fine. Like, before I woke up, as I was waking up, I just heard, like, my friend's name. And I was like, wait a minute. He calls me and he's like, how's he doing? And I'm like, he's fine. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, whatever happened to him. And I was like, he's fine. I'm like, oh my God, did it happen again? And he's like, again? And he started bugging out. And I'm just like, <laughs> And he's like, yo, I'm, in, I'm tripping. Let me call you back. It was a good trip. So the reason why he's doing endoscopy is, like I said, he's doing the gastric sleeve. Radiatric surgery. I don't know what exactly it is. You don't know what surgery you're getting? No, I don't know. I thought it was a sleeve that you're getting like my sister. Yeah, I think that's what it is, yeah. So he's getting the so gastric sleeve. So they said that, I, that I, he, they saw some type of like inflammation. And so they probably think it's like H. pylori. Like, yeah. What's that? The bacteria? Yeah, so she's, he just said that he's just going to make sure that it's not that. Because it can cause issues with the surgery. Oh, um, it can cause issues to anybody. The thing is with Jeffrey that he doesn't finish his medication. Like, just because he feels good, that's it. Yo, how about you have some respect? Yo, I look crazy. Do you see his eye? You are crazy. So the reason why I'm getting this surgery done is because I've always had issues with my weight. And I never really had the opportunity. Even like I've worked out nonstop and always still had issues with weight. And I've lost tons of weight, but it will go back up like that. So I think this for me would be a long-term solution. And I also want to be healthy. And I think as they say, abs are made in the kitchen. And I think that's always been one of my biggest issues of like, I can eat healthy, but somehow I'll still gain weight. And so I, I think I've tried every freaking diet. I've been in the military, even had issues with weight in the military. So I think after that, I've always said to myself, yo, there's gotta be a solution. It's like I've done that I should have never done in my life, like getting injections when I was living in Korea. Like I've tried weight loss injections by like local, local doctors and stuff and these underground labs and stuff. And I should have never done any of that stuff. That stuff is horrible. But I tried doing that stuff to lose the weight and it's just, it didn't, it never worked out for me. So this for me is a long-term solution and it is the safest way so far. And so I, and I should be getting the surgery next month. They just found a small little issue that I have with my stomach, which is H. pylori. Is that like that bacteria that you got in Cancun? Yes. So that stuff leads to ulcers in your and stomach. Cancer. And cancer. And that stuff is really bad. However, I caught that stuff because um, when I went to Cancun, they tell you all the time, don't drink water in foreign countries because bacteria may grow. And that's exactly where it started. I went to, Can I went to Cancun when? 2010? 2015. Uh, two 2015. No, 2016. Because yeah. Jarrett Jackson was like a few months older. Yeah, yeah. 2016, I went out there as a little vacation with the entire family. Our first vacation ever. Our first vacation ever. And it was 200% worth it. I just had massive diarrhea the entire time because I drank water from the hotel and it wasn't bottled. It was the ice cubes. Like that stuff, they just put water and freeze it. So I got really sick and- I think we all got sick. Everyone got sick. And what they don't tell you is careful because ice contains water and do not drink water from any other country besides the water that you're used to. Filtered water. I'm gonna be prescribed antibiotics so I can get rid of it and then I can get my surgery. Mm -hmm. I should be getting my surgery next month, come back here to New York next month. And uh, we should be either leaving tomorrow early morning or tonight, um, depends on. That'd be our next vlog. Yeah, so we'll definitely keep you updated and I appreciate you guys and sorry for me being crazy or stupid high. It wasn't me, it was the drugs that they gave me. I do not condone any drugs. Um, but yeah, he's getting this surgery. I'm so excited for him. I mean, I'm nervous. I was like- She was totally against it. I was so against like, it. I was it, so it, against it. I'm still against it, but whatever. But she knows that- it, It's gonna help It's out. gonna help me in a long run. And I just really have a, a, a very slow metabolism. And I won't, like, you can ask Marta. I don't, I won't eat junk food. I don't eat chips and other because I'm not, I don't even eat chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate. Eat food. I eat, I eat big food. portions of and that's food. That's the problem. I eat big portions. I can eat small portions, but I'm going to still be hungry and eat more. So, um, the, 
solution for me w would be this. We just wanted to give you guys a little update because you guys are gonna be in our, well, his journey. My weight loss journey. His weight loss journey, and I'm so excited. So, this is a little short video, right? No. Sorry, I look like a crazy ass mess with my little allergies, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update before we start this weight loss journey. And keep a lookout for more videos, weight loss journey videos, because we're gonna start dieting, because we mm -hmm. ha you have to lose a little bit of weight, right? Before the yeah. surgery? 14 days before the surgery, I have to lose with the liquid diet. So yeah, we're going to vlog all of that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Your touch feel like a fire. Pour some honey in my cup, you my desire. Maybe I had to come check you, I can't deny ya. You kinda fine now. You're my type, yeah. You're what I like, yeah.